Hello, truckers and adventurers. Welcome back to SnowRunner. We are on Yellow Rock in the main region, and I am in the Titan Logger, and I'm trying to get this back to the fuel depot. This was up at the watchtower that we built, and uh, yeah, I'm down to 29 liters of fuel, so not a whole lot of fuel left to go. I also don't have that far to go either. Um, <laughs> This would be my, my second intro to this video. I was going to go ahead and do another job. Uh, but on the way over there, I rolled over. And since it took me about 15 minutes just to get that far, I did not feel like uh, doing another 15-minute drive just to get to that point. So I was like, okay, what else am I going to do? Uh, so we're over here at Yellow Rock. And, yeah, I, I may not even get to the fuel depot. So I may be having a third intro to this, to, to this flipping video later on. I have no idea. Uh, the joys of snow runner sometimes this is when you think you know what you're gonna do snow runner says yeah we'll we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later on because uh, that's not gonna happen all right now i'm just on asphalt i got about two minutes of fuel left with the amount of liters i'm using per minute oh good now now it dropped down to about four liters per minute all right i think we can get up to the fuel depot why did the engine stall there well because it wanted to Just get me up there and we can go ahead and we're going to be doing, I think, a campaign job. And I think we're going to be getting the hotel up and running. That needs a whole bunch of logs. That's why we got our Titan logger here. I can see the fuel depot, so don't you dare run out before I get there. I mean, it shouldn't, but um, yeah, you never know. Because when you get low on the fuel, the engine does start to sputter. You don't get the full horsepower. Right, we can coast. Ah, oh, thank you. We made it. We made it. Fuel me up. Alright, let me go ahead and turn off the engine just for a moment so I can get the correct job up. So, uh, what I want to do for Lisa's field, uh, we'll see how far we get. Uh, hospitality business. So, here's the motel, which is just right over here by the fuel depot. Uh, let's go ahead and accept, and we should be all set. Uh, so, what can we get over here? Uh, we can get medium logs. All right, we just need one of those. We can go up and get that. What's over here? Uh, medium logs. Okay, so medium logs, medium logs. Uh, what do we get over here? Well, medium logs. Um, where can I get some short logs? Medium logs. Medium logs. Medium logs. <laughs> where do I get short logs? Ooh, there's an upgrade over here. Oh yeah, so when I when I jumped into the Titan. Uh, the watchtower activated and it found me a couple of upgrades uh, that we need to go find. Where do I get short logs? Medium logs, medium logs. Uh, let me look at the other map. Uh, what we got here? Short logs. Okay. Okay. Uh, but we'll start over here. And we'll just go up to here. Uh, okay, I, yeah, well, I know where that is. We've been up there a few times. And we will grab the... Well, this one set of medium logs. Uh, the rest are planks. Uh, what do we got here at the warehouse? It just says wooden planks. But we need long planks. We need medium planks. I'm guessing those are the things I might be getting at the sawmill, which is on the other map, which we are kind of currently building at the same time as trying to do this. All right, let's just uh, get going here and we'll grab. I'm hoping this should take medium logs. I would think it does. All right, so up here we shall go. Yeah, so <laughs> what I wanted to do was get those radioactive containers. I was going to get two of them uh, to start the episode. And the White Western Star, I recall back to the garage after flipping the bandit upright up at the observation tower. 
So we called it to the garage and getting across the river, which we have done many times. Boy, that white western star, I actually got stuck twice, had to back up, get another run at it. And it took me like 20 minutes just to get across the river. Uh, so, yeah, that, that was fun. Um, and then I started getting over by the radioactive, the first radioactive one I wanted to get. I was on a part of the map that I have not really been on yet. And it was really rocky and one bounce led to another. Actually, it just took one bounce and the truck was on its side. The engine was still running, but unfortunately, there were no trees in sight to upright myself while the engine was running so I could use the winch. So I tried using the crane, and then uh, the crane did unfold, but when the crane unfolded, it kind of got stuck in the ground when it unfolded, and I couldn't move it. So I couldn't upright myself, so I was like, all right, uh, yeah, that's enough of that. So now here we are. Uh, cargo management, medium logs. Bingo, bango, we got medium logs. All right, so I know where the hotel is. I don't really need to mark out where I'm going. Of course, I say I don't need to mark out where I'm going, and I'll watch me get lost. I'll figure out if I want to just top off with fuel on the way through or not. I mean, we're only going up to the hotel. And really, uh, for what I'm doing, this is the only thing I'm going to be using the Titan for on this hospitality job. Well, short logs. I don't know if short... I would assume short logs can go in here. I don't know if I can get two short logs on this or not. I don't know if two short logs equal one medium set of logs. Not too sure. Have no idea. So I've been trying to clean up jobs that I've started, but now here I am starting another new job. But as long <laughs> as they don't re uh, restart on their own, or I accidentally hit restart, um, we are good. I am interested in the upgrades. I, we may actually just go get some of the upgrades today. Maybe after I get this delivered, we'll start looking at where these upgrades are. Uh, there is one on the other map that's been there forever, and I'm not really sure how to get to that one. I probably should go and investigate that. So I'm foregoing on topping off on fuel. Because I'm probably just going to come back this way. Eventually with a Titan. Wherever I use it next. And I'll top off the fuel then. Even though I always say. You should always top off when going by. But I've only used about 30 liters. But as we just saw. <laughs> I showed up at the fuel station. With what about maybe 12-15 liters left. Of fuel, so that 30 liters would come in handy. Actually, I'm not sure if I've been to the hotel with you guys. I know uh, when I was running around this map a couple times off camera trying to get vehicles to wherever. And before this bridge was even built, I took the marshal up through here and went down the ravine and up the other side. That was not fun, and that's about the only vehicle that could probably do it. Not saying that it's great on the terrain, it was just uh, how narrow the passageways were. Um, did I? Am I taking the right road? I believe I am. Round and round we go, and we're almost up here. Overlook Hotel.
Alright, park and brake. Cargo management and deliver. Alright, job done. <laughs> At least that job. So the uh, short logs, uh, what... Uh, what passageway were those near? Because I want to figure out how did it end up in the garage? I have no idea. Uh, local map. Thank you. Uh, short logs here. All right, the short logs there. So we're over, in a way, the fuel station and then the other map. That gateway brings us out here. What's over here? Short logs and a whole bunch of them. Is there an easy way to get to that? Looks like a passageway here. So what I'm thinking is fuel up. We come through the gateway. Uh, I guess just take the road maybe over to here. And then just cut across up to here and I get the short logs there. Or the short logs there as well. Uh, so either one is something we can do. The question is, I, I, I don't know if this will take short logs or not. Well, part of me kind of wants to find out now. So, let's go ahead and see if we can get at least the short logs on here. Maybe we'll come back and get these delivered. I'm hoping it'll take two short logs, but it may only take one. Uh, can we stop at the bar? So this thing is not a speed demon, as we know. So it's going to take us a while to get there, but we shall get there. Round and round we go. At least it's all downhill on this part. Oh, there's a telephone pole there, Peanut. You might want to watch out for that. I'll play in the ice, but uh, that was just me. Not paying attention. I will say this uh, thing does get through the mud pretty good. All wheel drive always appears to be on. Diff lock I can turn on and off. Yeah, definitely top off of fuel before I go over onto the other map. This thing may not even take short logs. I have no idea. It could, could be one of those things that uh, I got to get a, a different carrier on this for short logs. But you would think if it takes medium logs, you should be at least get one set of short logs on here. I'm not really sure why we're getting the hotel up and running because there's no one else around here but us. It seems like. Nope, don't hit that too hard. Thank you. Okay, let's do a drive by if I can. I use. 70 liters of fuel to go up, get the medium logs, and get up to the motel and come back down. Luckily, this thing does have a decent sized fuel cell on it. And I start considering a decent fuel cell to be like at 250 liters and up. When it's below that, it's like, yeah, that's, a, that's like a localized vehicle. You don't want to go too far from many things.
All right, let's go through the gateway. And we don't really need a cutscene. So we got two options, of course, as we saw. But I think I'm going to go to the one that's uh, right there. Alright, that got through the water pretty good, but since it's such a high chassis, I think that's why we're getting through the water decently. It's just passing on through underneath. So there's a semi I want to put the radioactive material on. So I think I got. I may have to get that uh, sawmill up and going. Although I might be able to get some long planks up by the observatory. I think that's why we got the where we got the long planks before, or one set of long planks. Okay, I think we'll go cross the river here and then we're going to cut into this section of the woods I think is there like a path or anything through here I mean there is something like maybe through there I may have been able to cut across there Well, you know me. I'm just going to YOLO and see what happens. We'll, we'll find a path. The only thing that may get me is... This thing is... A little bit on the wide side. Now, let's put it in low high. Low plus. And we'll put diff lock on. Oh, that, that's a tree I can't just, just push over, huh? All right. Maybe I should just go out there and cut through that. I mean, it's not that far, actually. So, yeah, that should be what I... That's, that's the most obvious thing I should be doing. Keep trying to find a way through. I'm trying to figure out where that guardrail actually goes. Well, let's see if I can go around it. I hope it's not too deep. Well, I can see a road coming out through there, so I'm, I'm going to assume the game is going to let me get through here. Dangerous water levels. The intake is a lot higher than where we were, so I'm surprised it showed up that early. how deep this water hole is. 
No, it's not that deep. At least not yet, anyways. Yeah, when we leave, I think I'm going to go out the other way. Alright, low plus, diff lock. Because, you know, we all love the snow. <laughs> Can't find a vehicle that, or at least a set of tires that really does good in the snow. There may be some out there and I just haven't found the right combo yet. Am I going to be able to drive over this tree that's here? Or am I going to get hung up on it? Alright, looks like we can just drive right on through it. And then you spoke too soon. Alright, the front wheels went right over that. But the rear wheels, not so much. There we go. Am I going to get stuck between these rocks with this wide piece of machinery? where you think this might be the easier one to get to until you get in here and find out. Now I'm finding out. And what is it with the water current? Every time I get into like a body of water like this, there's like a heavy water current where there really shouldn't be one, honestly. That's okay. Probably going to get up here and cannot accept short logs. So if we can't accept short logs, hopefully we can take two of them. Uh, this trailer does not accept long logs. Okay, well, we kind of figured that. Short logs. This trailer does not support this cargo. It can take medium, but not short. Ah, uh, snow runner. You just want to... Ah! Why? <laughs> why can't I put short logs in a trailer that can take medium logs? All right, so I drove this all the way here for... Well, I don't want to say nothing, because now I know. All right, let's go ahead and turn that engine off. Uh, let's go ahead and advance time until 6 a.m. Uh, but what we're going to do at this point here... I am kind of curious. There's an upgrade out here, and I don't really know how to approach it. Um, what do we got back here? Forrester, Tuz, A and K, Bandits up there. Caterpillar. Let me go ahead and see what vehicle I feel like may get me out here. I'm going to need something probably with a high exhaust. And honestly, the one with the best high exhaust, I think, is the Bandit. All right, you know what? Let's just—I'm going to recall. I know it's up here. I was going to leave it up here for a reason, uh, but now the reason is we're going to recall that. Uh, recover. Leave garage. So the reason why the bandit that should have—wait, where's the intake on this? It should be at, like on the roof, if I remember correctly. Or am I am I on the wrong truck? Well, it's here now. <laughs> it's here now. All right, uh, let's get going on the road here. So I, I, a few comments in last episode when I was, I don't want to say ranting about the Bandit, uh, but as a few said, yes, the Bandit is a rather bouncy vehicle. A few said I just need to slow down more. Uh, slow down? What? No. Uh, yeah, slowing down, of course. 
is the obvious thing to be doing when you're bouncing around. But I'm trying to get things done, but to get things done, you sometimes got to go slow because tipping over just makes the job longer, right? So right now, yeah, we're bringing the bandit down to see if I can get up here to the upgrade. Uh, it's mostly we are currently exploring because I really don't know how to get across over to that island. And it's not going to take us long to get down there. So we'll have a good, good look. So the bandit also falls under that category because of the fall, small fuel cell. I almost said fall smuel cell. Uh, small fuel cell. Um, yeah, it's hard to really go many places with it. Long distances. And when I mean long distances, I'm talking snow runner long distances. So staying on the same map, basically not getting too far from tankers, fuel depots, what have you. We will top it off of fuel on the way past the fuel station. Now, usually I would use a just a scout vehicle to go get an upgrade. Uh, but seeing that it's on the other side of a, you know, it, it doesn't appear to be an easy way to get across the river. And most of your scout vehicles are shorter, so the intake to the engine is going to be lower. So I'm hoping that this one's high enough. And I hope it's an upgrade I can use. That would be nice as well. Uh, I probably should go ahead and just mark it so I know... I know where we got to be going here. Uh, I, I have been around here a couple times. I just never really looked over the edge to be like, all right, how do we get across there? It could be real simple when I get down here. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, nothing too visible. I could go up. Well, just like when I was trying to cross up here. <laughs> uh, I made this like about three episodes long. I just realized that water is not as deep as other spots, even though it looked like it was. I really don't like all these those rocks right there and I'm not seeing any like any telltale hints from the game where you might be able to see a couple of tire marks going down somewhere although wait maybe well let's go exploring I think there might be a peninsula out here I don't know how I would get down there. Of course, when I say peninsula, it's just a little bit of a rock slab going out further into the river. And once I get out there, if I can't make it back, no big deal. We'll just recall the vehicle. Um...
Or am I made to go up to that one, cross there, get on that island, and then cross there, and then shoot straight down? Well, let's keep going. Because if anything, I think the current of the water is going down that way. So if I start to float, <laughs> the river will push us down that way. Yeah, I could easily get across to that island there. I say easily, but... Now, the one thing i got to be careful of is... Uh, yeah, we don't have any trees or anything to help catch myself when I start to roll over. And of course I got the bandit. The bouncy bandit. Don't get stuck on that. I mean, of all things I had to straddle, was that? Alright. So, how deep is that water? Okay, that looked a lot deeper than that. Watch it be an upgrade to a truck that I don't use, or... <laughs> I'll be like, what truck is that? I have no idea. Okay, the one thing I got... I just... I don't want to be rolling over at this point. Getting this far out here. The Bouncy Bandit. So this upgrade out here, so they used to mark, you know, in the first season, it'd mostly be marked with like, well, you would have the yellow square that we're in right now, but also have like an abandoned vehicle next to it. So like, it's like you're discovering the vehicle with a part inside it. But now it's just uh, squares like this. But anyways, uh, race suspension. Let's see what uh, trucks it goes to. International Transtar 4070A, uh, 4070A. International Transtar. International Transtar. So if we go up to our garage, uh, trucks. Some garage features are locked. Truck store. Wait, did I... What? I thought I unlocked the truck store. Apparently... Was that the last thing? Truck store configuration is the last thing I have not done. Uh, I thought... I, uh, okay. Uh, let's see. I need containers, which are here. Concrete slabs. I don't think I have any concrete slabs left on this map. All right. Um, uh, truck stores. Do I have the International Transtar? Looks like I do not have the International Transtar. So I don't even know what it is, uh, honestly. <laughs> um... Well, all right. Western Star Twin Steer. Pacific Caterpillar. All right, so we got a race suspension for that. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and... Since we're on a... I don't want to say a roll, because that's the saying we're on a roll and SnowRunner. I don't want to be rolling. Uh, there's an upgrade just right here. This is the International a HX 520. Let's go ahead and jump in this. We're gonna. I got the... Marshall with this. 
I got to tow the marshal out to the road, and maybe we'll take this vehicle, which is getting kind of low on its fuel. Uh, all right, let's just get this out to the road to begin with. Uh, start the engine, and then attach to the con marshal. And I just want to mark the road out here. Oh, we'll drive. Yeah, the Marshall does not have that much fuel left in it at all. And I'm hoping that once I get it out to the road, I can get the Marshall over to the fuel tankers, top off the of fuel, get the roof rack topped off the of fuel. And then maybe we'll go look for those upgrades. Let's try doing that. <laughs> Gotta be careful with this truck. Being a service truck, it's rather top heavy. At this point, because I got I got put fuel in this truck anyways, maybe I should be just taking this truck right on over to the fuel tankers itself. Seventy nine liters, yeah. Let's go go do it that way. We'll bring them both over. Uh, diff lock. So I can't use the wench to get me out. All right, Marshall. Marshall's going to give me a push. All right, we should be good to go. Turn off the engine on the Marshall. Not really sure how far we are to the intersection. Let's turn off all wheel drive as well. I think that power tower right in front of us, that is where the intersection is. Yep, that's where we need to be. All-wheel drive will turn that back on, get through the mud. I, I don't want to say this has been a productive episode so far. <laughs> Seeing the only thing we got delivered was medium logs. Uh, we got an upgrade to a vehicle that um, I don't have currently. Okay, release the wench. Parking brake. Turn off the engine. Let's go ahead and refuel. Uh, source fuel carrier. Perfect. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, change trucks. Refuel. And also the roof rack. All right. Now what I want to do is come down to here and then shoot up to there. So pretty much back the same way we came, but we needed the fuel. Marshall is pretty good on the fuel. Actually, hang on a second. 
this back up a little bit. I just realized the suspension, the gearbox, and the engine are all kind of, uh, they're asking for a little bit of help. And let's see if I got enough uh, repairs on that. Uh, source, roof rack. Uh, do I have to be in the other vehicle? Ugh, I always get confused on this. Uh, change trucks. Repair. So you got to be in this truck to do that. Okay. Uh, repair the suspension, the engine, and the gearbox. All right, and then change trucks again. All right, Marshall's good to go. And this Marshall's a pretty good scout vehicle to have on this map with the roof rack. Has just enough fuel on top to get enough fuel inside of a vehicle to maybe get it out to the main road where I can fuel it up with something else. It's compact, so it's it's good to get into tight spaces or through the woods. Doesn't use a whole lot of fuel. I actually probably could have put some maintenance on the roof rack from our service trailer. Let's see if I can get myself just out of the road itself. Alright, so it looks like I gotta take this road here. Let me just get close enough to the marker so that disappears sometime soon. Thank you. Yeah, there's not really a way around here so I just think uh, we'll, we'll have to take a little trip to the woods like I said this is a great vehicle to do this well I say great vehicle it's about the best vehicle you can use if you can see where the heck you're going Oh, there's an abandoned car. All right, so what do we find this time? All right, so an upgraded engine for the Dairy Longhorn 5420. Is that the Dairy Longhorn that I have? The Dairy Longhorn 5420. I got the Dairy Longhorn 3194. Well, of course I do. Or is that the model of the engine? Okay, well, either way. All right, so there is another... Wasn't there another upgrade somewhere? Where is it? Oh, way over here. That's way over there. Uh, yeah, it's way over there. I'll say it three times. <laughs> it's kind of far, so maybe we'll get that at a different time. Well, all right. Uh, looks like there's a job up here. Lost but not forgotten. All right. Haven't uh, seen that one yet. What do I have for vehicles over here? The Pacific? All right. We got service and fuel tanker here. Do I want to take that up there to, to, to try to find out exactly what that job entails? That has diff lock. It doesn't have all-wheel drive, so maybe not. Maybe I don't want to be doing that with that one. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, what I should do is uh, think about 
the next step I want to do here. Uh, I think this needs to get refueled. Actually, it's got 61%, but yeah, smart thing would be get that refueled. That's our Vorongrad with a semi-trailer. We do have a job here, lost but not forgotten. Oh, I got to deliver those trailers. I don't think the Marshall... Does that have... That does have a hitch on the back. Let me, uh, let's, let's just get Scooch back out to here and see if that will attach to that. And then if it does, then maybe we'll take care of that to begin next episode. I don't want to say something easy, but it seems pretty straightforward. Oh, that's right. Um, <laughs> I, I was uh, wenching a trailer there and the cargo went flying. So I don't know if the cargo is all going to be there or not. Uh, down here and then over there. Well, the marshal should be kind of light. So I'm kind of hoping we don't fall through the ice, crush through it. It's cracking. The ice is a little soft right there. Let's see if uh, both trailers are here. We do know, I think it was two episodes ago, that I took one trailer and the cargo went flying. Yep, only one trailer here. Let's see if this attaches to that. Looks like it should. And it doesn't. <laughs> that does not attach to that. That's a ball hitch right there. That's a ball hitch trailer. <laughs> Why won't that attach? Well, go figure. I, I I don't know. That looks like that should attach on there. Um, all right. Well, you know, I'm just finding a whole bunch of stuff today that what I want to use. Uh, no, you can't use it here. Can't use it there. Can't grab uh, short logs with a medium log trailer. I don't know. Leave it to SnowRunner to just to say, huh, we're going to make you think you do something, but you're not going to be able to uh, and enjoy so I'm not really sure what I, I'm not sure let's just leave it at that but anyways I think uh, yeah that's where we're gonna have to leave it for today uh, if you made it this far in the video and you liked what you saw which I don't know how you would uh, don't forget to hit, hit that like button it helps out the video on the channel more than you know and if you haven't done so already and you think about doing so hit that subscribe button as well but that's where we're gonna wrap it up for today hope that you guys did enjoy the episode I do appreciate you watching as always and I'll catch you again right here in SnowRunner but until then have a good one.